Hello, sir. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. And you, sir? Yeah, I'm quite good. You, you in a new room? It's like yeah. a new room. Nice to see you again, sir. Yeah, yeah nice to see you again. Uh, have Have you changed? Have you like painted your room, or did you move to an, a new room? No, sir. I, I am sitting in my room, sir. Oh, but Hello? it's not a it's not a new room. It's not a new room, is it? <laughs> no, sir. Same room, sir. Ah, I don't remember it being pink. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, I see. In the video, I am standing on my terrace, on my house of my terrace. Ah, yeah, you're outside last time, right? I think you were inside one time, though. But I can't yeah, remember yeah. very well. Maybe. Yeah, last time. Yeah, last time. I was sitting in the same room. I think, like, uh, your house seems quite nice. Uh, is So just one room is pink or all, all the house is pink? No, sir. Every room has pink Pink paint, sir. Pink color, and our hall is a blue. Ah, so our outside of it is blue. Outside blue of it is blue, but and then out, inside okay, of it is pink. Outside of my house is a combination of white and purple color. Ah, I see. I see. Like, did I think that sounds quite nice? Like, did you paint it yourself, or was it already like that when you bought no. it? <laughs> I didn't did, did this. Uh, I make it. By painter. Uh, oh, I see. My like watch paint by painter. Did Did you ever think about painting like uh, different colors or something? Uh, I am not interested about this. Sir. No, so you don't do things like because that, yeah. Yeah, like uh, how yeah. about like the in your house? Like, how many rooms do you have? Uh, I have four bedrooms, uh, two halls, and two kitchens, and two bathrooms. Oh, two bathrooms. That's two good, bathrooms. sis. Do you remember which page? Uh, uh, sir, we are actually we are at uh, slide number four. Today we are going memory. to read slide number four. Yeah. Uh, so skip this one. Yeah, I think we did that one. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. This yeah, also. we did that. This also, sir. Mm. Uh, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this light, sir. Uh, some and uh, yes, sir. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I, you're right. This what, one we did. Yeah. Today we will yeah. resume our lesson from this slide. Uh, yes. Yeah, some sure. animals are fed in a one country and food in another country. Uh, can I think of animals that are fed or food? Actually, sir, in if I tell about in my country, chicken and goat. Mutton. Uh, people uh, prefer like to eat. Their first priority they eat to chicken and mutton. And after this, uh, I think uh, then many people eat maybe rabbit or snake. I don't know. I'm not clear about this, but chicken and mutton. Right, because I heard in India people don't eat beef. People don't eat cows. Right. No. People don't. Mm. People because in our in our country in, in our country people give the give respect for as a mother. Uh, give right, her right. Post as a in in our India say cow mata means that cow mother. Yeah, yeah. So it's like uh, you have you have a lot of respect for cows. We give a lot of uh, respect. I guess it's like uh, in. In Western countries, people don't like to eat dogs because we have a lot of respect for dogs. We say, like, dogs are man's best friends. But I think in some countries yeah. like China, China yeah. or Korea, 
uh, some people eat dogs here. Yeah. I think they eat everything, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so Corona, so Corona did it, uh, has your eyes. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah, man. Maybe it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's real. What about your country? Maybe uh, snake or cat? No, we don't. No, I never heard of someone eat. I, maybe some people eat snakes, but it's not common. And I, I never. I think nobody eats cats. Um, but uh, yeah, chickens. Maybe in this list, only chickens and maybe maybe chickens snakes. But it's true. I think chicken and goats are very common. Yeah, yeah. Chi- everyone eats chickens. Yeah. But in India, people don't eat dogs, right? No. I don't no. think so. Sir. No, I people do not prefer this. Uh yeah, yeah. Yeah, same here. Yeah, we we don't we, we wouldn't eat that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, you me you. Possession. So mm-hmm. to talk talk about things that belong to someone, we can use the pattern. Yeah. Determiner plus noun, or we can shorten the sentence by using a possess- possessive pronoun instead. So, for example, a determiner would be they have a doc- dog named Spot. Spot is their dog. So it's possession. You know, they own this dog. It's their, their dog. Uh, Amy's cat is brown and my cat is black because it's your animal. It's your pet. So you will say mine or theirs if it's their, their one. Yeah. This is very yeah, selective for one thing. I think yeah, yeah, this is very selective for my uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the basic ones are, I think, a bit too simple for yeah, you, to be honest. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, skip this one. Yeah, this one's easy. Yeah, sir. Why not? Yeah. The lesson is grammar practice for your son. To it. Skip, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At, at at a pet shop. Uh, yeah. If you want, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Your friend wants to get you pet as your birthday present, and you took you to a pet store. Talk to your tutor and decide which pet you like to get. Sir, if I am a customer, then I my first priority is that I would like to bring a dog and what type of dog is just like labrador Ooh, i nice like point because sir, he is looking very smart he is intelligent uh, and uh, his smelling power is very high i'm not saying that he, only this dog maybe german separate dog has also this quality but the labrador has a uh, quality unique quality just like uh, his age he is a long-lasting animal from all of these. And his weight is just like 28 to 36, maybe 36 kg a very. So I, my preferred preparation is that Labrador Retriever. Ah, uh, yeah, Labrador. I think that's quite a beautiful dog. I think a lot of people like Labradors the most. I like them too, but I, I think I also like, um, to be honest, yeah. I think I like cats more than dogs because I have two cats. I think yeah, they're very you cute. Mentioned you yeah. mentioned it. Yeah, they're quite cute. So I would probably go with, I've got, I've got two white cats now. So if I was going to go get another pet, maybe I'll get a black cat. <laughs> wow. Totally black cat. You know, have a bit of difference. Yeah, that'd be nice. If you have a dog, you can talk about the dog. And if you not, you can come up with an imaginary pet dog. Now you are at a dog park and start a conversation with another dog owner about your dog. Sir, I think um, you are a, actually, originally you are a cat owner. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah. So why not, why not we replace dog, why not we replace dog by a cat? Then, uh, I, yeah, sure then, then conversation is looking very realistic. So as a, um, firstly, as a cat owner, I am also a cat owner. Just think, think that. Then, and you are a cat owner in the past. So I come here and I ask you 
sir um uh, few days ago i bought two cat but uh, after some days uh, two weeks ago i bought two cats but after some days i felt that the cat didn't do not eat anything except drinking milk drink milk and i want to communicate with them but i failed i did everything but uh, i couldn't do anything so give me some tips that i have to that i have to feed them and come converse with them with them converse with them well i i think the problem is that your cat is a bit scared because it's in a new environment so i suppose a good solution would be um let it adjust a little bit and then put it in a room an empty room and then put the food in that room and just keep it keep it there so then it's alone and it's uh away from anything scary and only thing is the food so eventually it will probably come take some food to eat so that's probably a good idea <laughs> yeah oh thank you uh, no worries good luck good luck with your cats <laughs> thank you thank you sir sir actually i i think that lesson is completed they do have extra ones but i don't know if they're good or not uh, uh, easy the cat is my easy pg sir easy uh, yeah and then given easy uh maybe extras so what are the pros and cons of having pets uh i'm not understanding pros and cons ah uh, sure pro means advantage and con means disadvantage so it's like what are the good and bad things about having pets good habit uh, just uh, good habit is that when the <clears throat> when any pet have uh, conversating you um, if the if he, the pet is understanding you then it is a good advantage then you should do everything that you can do uh, you can play with him you can you know you can go for a walk with him but uh, at the initial time the they have <coughs> adapt uh, the pet have adapt the environment very difficulty did you mean sir uh, what yeah. i want to say that yeah i think you mean like uh there's more advantages there's a lot of advantages if the uh if the cat or the or the or the, the, the pet pet is listening to you right yeah, yeah i think that's the meaning if if they getting older and on they listen to us but at initial time they they need to they need to adapt the environment new environment yeah 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 take some time to it yeah this this should take some time i think they the end when they getting ill it is also a disadvantage that when we get ill we uh, they are not a human that they say and they say that uh, i have this problem they i have that problem we should find ourselves what is the problem then we should take the pet doctor and the main disadvantage is that yeah 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 something to be expensive if they get sick or something like that right yeah 